Hi guys, Jamie here, just doing a short video for the Coursera Introduction to Music Production uh, Week 5. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the musical uses of modulated short delays, such as a chorus, flanger, and uh, in phaser. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so I've got my multi-track session going on here in, uh, in Adobe Audition. Uh, so what I've got, I've got a rhythm guitar here and uh, two, two lead guitars. I've got my rhythm guitar here, which I'll show you without the effect. So now what I wanted to do is sort of, um, it sounds a bit too muddy, the, 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 the sounds are exactly the same, I recorded them one after the other. So I want to sort of make the rhythm guitar uh, a bit, you know, have its own distinct sound, come out to the sides, and what I've used is uh, a chorus. So I've got this plug-in, classic chorus, and what I'll do is I'll loop it, and, uh, and you should be able to hear the difference between when the classic chorus is on and off. Now, in, with this chorus, you can fiddle with a lot of stuff, um, the the range, and uh, I, don't, I actually don't know what that button does. <laughs> the rate of um, modulation, which if you listen to that, I'll show you, it sounds very, very strange. So I like, I like a nice subtle chorus, so I keep that down low. Same with the depth. And the, you've got a mix of dry and, and wet, which is here, which is, is pretty cool. So if you have a listen, you can see it's got a spread button here. But if you listen to the mix, you can hear it going out really wide when you turn the wet sound right up. So now it's a bit wide, so I just... I, just sort of put it on the default one to one, which is pretty cool. And now well, let's hear what that sounds like with the lead guitar on and off. See how it gives it that nice wide sound and, and sort of leaves room for the lead guitar to really shine. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is on my uh, sort of verse, I have uh, the chorus, um, the chorus uh, rhythm guitar going along in the background, and then I have this lead guitar, which is playing sort of a melody. And I'll show you what that's like. So if I just turn that one on on its own, and I'll turn the effect I have on it off. Pretty basic stuff. Now it does sound, I think, I think, or I thought, it sounded a little bit boring. So what I've done is I've gone in and, and I've used this flanger effect to do it, sort of just give it something interesting, something uh, unique, so that uh, the, the listener is, is, is sort of drawn to the sound as it, as it modulates in and out. So I'll show you what it sounds like with the flanger. Now in this flanger, you can change quite a bit, so I'll loop this again. And what you have is you have sort of the feedback level, if you turn that way up, it gets really crazy. And about there, uh, you've got the depth of the depth of the the filter so when, when it's like the flanger is like a, a comb filter so there's a lot of uh, notches in the um in the waveform so you've got here you can uh set how it actually uh comes up in the in the waveform and i, I quite like the inverted saw sound um which is essentially working like a comb filter 
And one of the really cool things about this one is you can sync it to the um, the beats per minute, which is I think is the, the really cool thing. And you can set it however you like how fast the modulation is. I like one to one because I like a really really sort of slow, subtle flanger. All right, so let's have a listen, see how it goes uh, with it on. Thanks guys for watching.